Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Josh Tyler and Aaron Michelle at the War Tour. This is Dave from Big D at the Kids Table, uh, an amazing ska band if you're unfamiliar. Uh, you and have an English accent? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Spinal Taps is on oh. uh, HBO loop right now. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, this is, this is, what number work tour for you guys? Well, let's see, it's our third full one, but we've done a half of one and a quarter of one and another quarter of one, so it's pretty much four. Yeah, okay. You, know, you just add it up. Sure. So, how is this year, uh, how has this year been, uh, compared to the past years you've done? Well, it's funny, because it's, when you say it's the exact, you, know, you can say it's the exact same, and it's different. So, it's the exact same meaning... You know, the kids are the same, except instead of wearing bright clothes, like during the Paris Hilton days, yeah. I think everyone was wearing a little bright clothes and had really short skirts all the time. Now, because I think of um, Twilight, yeah. everyone's more dark and black. <laughs> That's very interesting. The shirts are fluorescent because the 80s is back. Sure. But the fundamental is kind of like a vampire thing going on. And so that's different, but the kids inside the suits are the same. Yeah. You know, they're the same kids. They're doing the same things, you know. And then the bands might sound different from not pop punk and now like 80s screamo dance emo. I don't know what it is these days, but uh, it's, it's the same dance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same. Different. Different mentality though. I def- the boys wear the um, the small shorts. Yes, stuff. I've seen that yeah. around, and I'm going. Uh, one, there's one guy who's wearing a pair that makes them look nude. They're yeah. like flesh colored. I'm I, like, wow, buddy. I think it's really interesting. I think I enjoy it because it's my first time going. Oh, I don't understand the generation. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm older, right? Yeah. And then you just kind of you kind of look at them, and you know, I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a man, and so I, I see these guys doing things that I might not decide to wear, but I get to look at it on the outside and go, oh, the youth is just so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, and what's the, the line from Dazed and Confused that I said earlier? Yeah, you, you were talking <laughs> about... Oh, yeah. 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 The, I yeah. said the same age. Yeah. 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 I get yeah. older and the war tour should say the same age. Yeah. But I also have a theory of it, okay? This is getting a little weird, all right? We were watching one of those Juno movies. There's a bunch of them. You know, a bunch sure. of kind of... That, that kid in the Juno movie, the uncomfortable one. You know, yeah. uh, Sarah, Sarah. Mike yeah. Sarah, yeah. Now, he's in the, a lot of these nowadays teen movies, the boy is very awkward. Sure. The woman is the assertive one. Like, she grabs and kisses them. But you can see it in the kids. The boys are a little, like, interesting. Yeah, they're a little less of a boy. And the girls oh. are kind of like, just come over here. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> come on. And so I, I think the, uh, the girls are the alpha males in this work. It's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. very interesting. It's very, I think, I think the boys are the groupies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The ones Lucky the for you, huh? Yeah, know, right, yeah. <laughs> Happy <laughs> days. The days of the jobs and stuff like that are kind of not. And yeah. like, there's more of a separation now. Back when I was younger and into it, there's no separation. Yeah. It's like, oh, you like that kind of music, but you're weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to guess, mark my words, in two or three years, the manly man will be back. The man. <laughs> the hairy yeah. chest. Yeah, everyone's going to be going back all hairy and yeah. spitting. Taking their women. (laughs) (laughs) Two years. I mean, two or three years. Two or three years. It's going to be a lot of cleanup. (laughs) (laughs) We will will mark your words for sure. Um, Too many Ted Turners around. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, what's up with the band? You guys got a little bit of a new dynamic with a couple of girls that you've added in? Talk talk a little bit about that. Well, we added, we always just kind of want to grow and expand, and we're always basically trying to make the music we like most. You know, and so we added uh, three duop singers because nice. we love Ray Charles, we love Bob Marley has them. I listen to a lot of like Austin Powers go go music, you know, okay, kind sure. of like spy music. Um, so uh, we just added them because they're just a real nice musical dynamic. You know? And it wasn't conscious, it was just the first song came in. And I wrote a girl part, and the second one, and then the third part, and then, and then suddenly the band was like, you know, we don't have any girl members. You yeah. know that, right? And I was like, oh, well, I think it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> that just happened. That's we funny. put a flyer up, and... Uh, right so did you just do, like, an open audition kind of deal, or how did well, you get to the four of them. Okay. And they're called the Joked Up Dollies, and I was a little drunk in a bar, <laughs> and I saw Haley Jane sing, and usually I don't, you know, like, uh, go for it. I usually wait until the next day and go, like, was, was it good? Yeah. You know, but, but instead I was like, here, it's fabulous. You know? <laughs> and so uh, we exchanged numbers, and so she joined in, and Nicole, Nicole and uh, Simone played a band called Tip the Man. Okay. We've known them forever. And they came in, and then Saray, she answered the flyer. So, uh, the flyer was pretty hilarious. 